Hey, good morning, everybody. My goodness, it is Wednesday already. We've hit the midweek, and I'm glad that you've joined me for a midweek Wednesday edition of Five Minutes with Phil. It is good to have you here today. I pray that these are blessing you. In fact, if you know somebody in your life that you think could be blessed by one of these, by all means, share it with them. Send them a link, uh, tag them, whatever you got to do to... uh, Get it in their inbox, and uh, let's let's bless your friends. That, that's that's what we want to do is just help people. Okay, great. Well, uh, let's uh, let's get into the word. Okay, I'm going to take a look at the book of Psalms today, and we get this verse in Psalm chapter 30, verse five. Psalm 30, verse five, and we we get this interesting description of God in Psalm chapter 30 verse 5, and uh, I want to share that with you and maybe unpack it a little bit with you here today. So let's read this together. Here's what it says. For his anger, that's referring to God, for his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may last through the night, but joy comes with the morning. Uh, A few things I want to talk about here today real quick. Uh, Right at the beginning, I I wasn't even going to go there, but I I was just challenged by that first sentence, his anger only lasts for a moment. And uh, I I think sometimes we get this idea that God holds a grudge against us. Even if we've asked him to forgive us of something, we, we think that God still holds something against us. And that's not the way God operates. God doesn't hold a grudge. And, and by the way, we shouldn't either. But maybe that's another five minutes with Phil episode. But God doesn't hold a grudge. Sure, he may be displeased with something that we do. But you know what? If we ask him for forgiveness for that thing, um, he no longer condemns us for that. He doesn't hold us hold it against us anymore. And so uh, I, that's for somebody watching this. I just want you to know that God does not stay mad at you. His anger only lasts for a moment, but God's favor lasts for a lifetime. And then the psalmist says that your weeping might endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. And I want to speak to some people that may have some difficult circumstances that they're facing right now. And... Maybe you've convinced yourself that you are forever branded as a victim or you are um, forever stuck in this difficult situation. And I don't see that here. Uh, What I see here is that your bad situation, whatever is causing you that grief and that distress, it's not intended to last forever. It only lasts for a moment. It's temporary. Understand this. Your distress is temporary. Your trial, your difficulty, that is not meant to be a permanent thing. That's a temporary thing as far as God is concerned. But so many times our focus is on that difficulty. And it's very easy to get that way, right? I mean, when we go through tough stuff, um, and we're feeling the pain and we're feeling the stress and we're feeling the alarm that comes with that, that could be really hard, but it's not permanent. And I want to encourage you with that. Joy comes in the morning and your morning is coming. Your morning is coming. The end of that sorrow, it's closer than you think. You have not been designed to be forever in sorrow and distress and pain and hurt and and what whatever word you want to throw throw in there uh, that's not god's plan for you so some of us by the way we need to understand that the alarm clock is already wrong and morning has come and some of us have ignored the morning we've ignored the relief because we have become identifiable as a person with grief and sorrow. That's not your identity. Please don't buy into that. 
Your identity is not in the pain. Your identity is found in Jesus Christ. So I want someone out there to know today that your joy is coming and it's sooner than you think. And I hope that encourages you today. All right, God bless you. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you again next time, okay? We love you. Bye-bye.